So guys, this is a new controller for the old CNC machine. Inventables have come up with a new controller which has uh, ironed out a number of the kinks from the original and added some bits and pieces. So we have facilities like micro-stepping for the motors and stuff and some real-time controls here. Uh, and they also have a better connectivity on the back here. Uh, the original one had only three connectors for motors and so both y-axis motors were connected to the same driver chip um, in the new setup you can give each of the y-axis motors its own its own driver uh, which is better um, probably the downside to it well a couple of downsides one is it's quite tall as you can see and but I didn't measure before I ordered it up and it will just fit into the cavity uh, if you like underneath in the platform that I built for mine um, so that's gonna have to be done um, uh, probably one of the uh, one of the little challenges is it the on off switch and the mains cable are at the back here uh, but controls here are at the front so if I put it in with this facing to the front then I can't switch it on and off <laughs> if you like using that switch so I'll have to put the switch somewhere else the other thing I cannot do is it comes with a, a panic button to kill all the power in case something crazy happens which is a good idea um, so I'm gonna have to get a separate box for this and mount it somewhere else because <laughs> it won't fit in this little hole here that's on the top um, so that's that um, I guess probably the other thing that I wasn't too happy with is it has the same power supply in it as the one I have at least it looks exactly the same and yet you have no option other than to buy the whole thing so you have to buy the power supply again so I have two power supplies but anyway, it's altogether a better thing because the other one as well had all sorts of uh, problems where you had to wrap multiple ground wires together and try and force them into these tiny little connectors. And as you can see here, each one of these has its own ground connection. Um, so that'll make the wiring a lot easier. And it has a lot more options as well. So you can connect up a probe, you can do uh, various other bits and pieces as well. Um, so that's the project has to get done uh, I forgot to mention this comes as a kit of basically a couple of circuit boards the panels and the uh, hardware and stuff and you have to put it all together but I didn't video that because hey it's just like putting some Meccano together or some Lego um, and so uh, and it's all on their website step by step anyway so and since I didn't encounter any problems I didn't think there's any need to video it. So the old controller is removed from the cavity here and as you can see the new one just fits. There isn't even clearance for this cable <laughs> across the top here. Um, however if you like design flaw number one from my perspective is all the cables connect to this thing at the other end all except one which is the USB cable going off to the PC which for some unknown reason is coming out the front here so this means having a, a panel here is going to be problematic if you have to root a cable externally somehow and plug it in there so I'm gonna plug that hole right here and we're gonna relocate this around here to the side and I have plenty of room on the side because uh, the uh, panic button is not going to be uh, using up the volume that's around the back here. Okay, step one. I put an extra hole here and I'll put a grommet in it. And that'll be for the two leads for the uh, panic button to come out to the side as well. And hopefully sacrificing a t-shirt has kept Swarf from getting anywhere into the important bits. In any case, we'll vacuum it out thoroughly. So there we go, what it'll do for now. So, uh, USB coming out the side, and this is me uh, panic wires for the panic button. Um, I was, I had every intention of putting a grommet here, but the thickness of this extrusion is too much, so 
the gap uh, between the two faces of the grommet just isn't enough <laughs> so after wasting an appropriate amount of time on it I gave up so I tied a knot on the cable on the inside so it's not going anywhere so having to make a couple of little mods to the uh, base plate here because of the weight of this thing and uh, the grain runs that way on the base plate didn't matter with the previous one because it wasn't very heavy but with this one when I slide it out it just starts to bend here so it's obvious it's going to snap uh, and the other thing to top it tipping over when you pull it out put a little stay on the back here to uh, prevent that from happening so we'll let the glue dry up we carry on so I'm probably right at the limit here in terms of the length of the cables to get to the connectors around the back of this guy uh, but I think I'll be okay because this is the the one that has to go the furthest and it's not uh, it's not fully under being pulled at or anything so hopefully it will be okay so one of the mods you have to make uh, if you want to get the full benefit of the new controller is this cable which connects one of the uh, Y motors it just parallels it onto the other one except one of the phases is reversed so they go in opposite directions from the same uh, signals um, you have to replace this with a cable that goes all the way back to the new controller um, I didn't order a cable when I was ordering the controller but I got some locally only problem is colors are different so red blue green black goes brown white green yellow <laughs> so um, I have a double probability of a bozo here because not only are these colors already transposed but when you wire this one up you're already you have to transpose two of the wires again so a lot of writing down and careful consideration before I wire it up will be required well we almost made it uh, the uh, stepper motor cables are long enough but the uh, limit switch cables are not so when I connect up the limit switches I can slide it the can slide the drawer back in all the way so I had to extend some of these uh, limit switch cables before it looks like I'll have to extend them again okay I think that's the mechanical stuff done so I've extended all the different wires that needed extending so it slides all the way back in I've taken the top cover off because uh, next up will be uh, the uh, configuration and setup electrically and so there's various dip switches and trim pots and things to be uh, tweaked and so that'll be the next session I think we'll uh, stop there for today and we can call that uh, sufficient progress for one day